to start programming a 2D matrix or grid, you go onto the Robwin computer screen, create a new route in Cartesian mode, you pick Cartesian, you pick grid. Allow, in this instance, 100 lines, because this rack has got 60 positions. And then you enter 15, which is the number of, of positions here, by 4, which is the number of rows here. 15 columns and 4 rows. Click OK, and you then get a list of empty positions. So the, the, uh, the root list for rack comes up, and all the positions are zero. Then you start to move the robot to position 1, which is here. I'm using 25 millimeter increments at the moment. Now I'm going to press the function button on the, on the, on the uh, teach pad, which does a line mode. and get closer and down and now I'm going to rotate this because I want this gripper to be at the same angle as the rack that's J5 that should be enough smaller increments Further down, in one millimeter increments, and then do a trial grip. That looks all right. So we learn that into position one by pressing set to here on position one. Next, I will move up to the other end of that row which is position 15 in the grid. On 25 millimeter increments, I will move up and across on Y. It's harder to get to because the rack is at an angle. One millimeter increments. down little bit on X trial grip and that's the satisfactory uh, corner of the grid so we click line 15 on the screen and click set to here. And now select, uh, selecting 25 millimeters increments again. Moving up on Z or Z and across to the final corner which is position 60. Smaller increments. Moving down a little bit more. And I'll learn that position. Trial grip. That's okay. Back to the screen, and this time I click set to here on line 60. And then you click interpolate, which calculates all the in-between positions. The next task is to give this rack an approach position. I'm going to use the teach pad, again in 25 millimeter increments.
to grip the tube and pull it up until it's clear. So pressing Z and plus, 25, 50, 75, and I'm going a bit further so I can clear the tops of any other tubes which will be in there. And that is in a suitable approach position, so we then click on the screen, set approach. Having clicked that, you will see that the approach is actually set to 25 because each of our movements is 25. So you then click edit line and change it to 100, which is the total distance up for the uh, approach position. I'm now ready to test this out. So first of all, I'm going to put that tube back in with the teach pad using Z or Z only. I know it has to go down 100 millimeters, so Z minus one, two, three, four, and that should be it. Grip and ungrip, and then move up again. I have a place nearby called safe. So I'm going to type safe now in the command window and it will move across to the safe position. That's already programmed before I started this video. I would now be able to pick up a tube from a pre-programmed position called holder. I've already programmed this before I started. I can pick up the tube, if you can see it just here, and put it in any one of these positions from 1 to 60. 1 is here, 15, 30, 45, 60. So I now pick up the tube with, a, it's called holder, so holder, grip, and withdraw. Up to safe and then I could put it in any position. Let's say I want to put it in position 14, which is just here. I write 14 into. Ungrip. And move up. The command is up to move away to the approach position. And I could do that with another tube. I'll put another tube in the holder and I'll move that to position 46, which is here. Holder, grip, withdraw, up to safe, and then 46 into, ungrip, and up.